It's late morning, but I wanted to do a few things uh, just to prep for this evening. I could have moved uh, my bench to be uh, in the shade, but then I would have had to move it again this evening when I'm going to be doing more, and I'd rather not. I just want to prep these pins. And then I noticed that the pins won't go through on the spatula. I need to ream those out. I have the drill ready to do that. Uh, I'm also going to check the knife handle again. I do want to start with the spatula. Uh, and I don't exactly know why, but that's where I want to start. Probably because if I make a mistake, I want it to be, I'd prefer it with there than on the knife. Because that was a harder handle to prepare. Put a bit of a cham chamfer on these uh, just to get the ridges off. I do need to do a little more where the tool marks are. Um, I'm going to give the camera a break and get set up to uh, do the counter sinks and to uh, enlarge these holes. I'm already dripping sweat. I do have water uh, sitting in the shade under the uh, makeshift bench here. Uh, I set the camera in the shade for a few minutes. I'm just gonna ream out these holes a little bit so that the pins will go through. Gonna double check the knife to make sure they go through there. I had already opened those up. I don't know what happened, but something got on this handle. It'll uh, most likely sand out. I'm gonna change bits and uh, do the counter sink need to put my tools back in the shade don't need the battery for this put it in the shade too I noticed last night uh, while I was editing the video before I posted it that you couldn't see the difference with the the original pin versus what had been peened on the test pin. So I'm going to put that in the shade. Uh, maybe that'll give a little bit better picture. It did definitely expand and take up the space that I'd prepared for it. Um, I'm too hot. I don't want the camera to overheat again. Not sure how many of those it'll take. It may end up... Oh, well, you couldn't even see that. Or could you? Uh, it may not come back if it happens again. So I'm going to... Uh, 
call it for right now pack stuff up and I'll get back to it when I have shade this evening I just checked the uh, weather forecast and well not the weather forecast the current weather and it said it was uh, 38 degrees centigrade or roughly 102 degrees Fahrenheit I've set out uh, quite a few things here not sure exactly what I'm gonna do use um, but first thing I need to do is get the poor man's anvil uh, clamped down so I'm going to get that started right now. Well, I managed to remember everything but the hammer and the knife blade and the spatula. Uh, I don't know what that's called, the blade, I guess. I'm going to grab them and be right back. I don't think I'm going to get to peening the knife handle tonight, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to get a good start on the spatula, however. hole isn't lined up. Those should be good, but I, I think this one might be a little shorter than what I want. So I'm going to look at this other one see how it is. Yeah, I think that's what I want. I'm only going to do one at a time, so I'm going to take out the other pin, and I'm going to get started. Pins have actually recessed uh, below the the wood a little bit, but it's a good solid hold. They will be shaped a little bit all the way around, and I'll take a small bit off the surface of both. I need to clean this up, but that should be done when I round the edges. That went better and faster than I expected. I'm going to see about doing some on the knife handle. Batteries are almost exhausted. I guess I better grab a couple just in case they run out. Uh, I'm gonna do that and have them out here.
not done by any means and this one's uh, showing some bend on me I might try to straighten that a little bit however I forgot something uh, one coffee on my knife see what I get for having it close to my stove um, but I forgot to cover the blade with some tape so I don't cut myself admittedly it needs sharpened there's some pretty good uh, wear on it but I still think I'd be better off not cutting myself the only pliers I had handy were these little micro tools that been around for ages and I've been putting off using to do a automotive electrical issue I'm not sure they're gonna do much good on this that's still quite a bit off have to see what I can do with the hammer um, I am planning to sand this back to meet the tang on the blade so I'm not real worried about damaging the wood however I am worried about cutting myself so I'm gonna put some tape over that blade I guess it won't hurt to have the tape go over the wood. Yeah, I think my fingers will be safe. Now I'm going to have to see if I can continue to peen this to get it straight. It was a little bit long. I should have trimmed it, but I didn't. It was a little bit long. I should have trimmed it, but I didn't. It's left a recess around the metal there. I may end up having to do some epoxy or some fill to do that. I'm going to finish peening these other two uh, since I left them proud. What all I do is working on the other one. Well, I guess now comes the hard part. Uh, I wasn't expecting the peening to go so quickly, even though I did have that uh, recess still showing there on the one pin. I think I can get that filled. Um, now I've got to find a way to clamp the blade so that I can do the shaping. And once again, I am going to start on the spatula for that. Uh, Batteries still haven't been exhausted yet, but I'm going to get some wood to clamp this with. Because the spatula doesn't come straight out from the handle, it took me a bit to come up with a uh, clamping solution. Uh, got a bit of fun there. I'm going to see about doing some shaping now with the file.
fire brush and clean the sawdust out of here. Uh, this file is actually taking off more than the one I was using for the metal. Uh, looks like it's a cross cut, but I'm going to need to clean it out so it does a little better job. Had the wind pick up a little bit. It is monsoon season. Have some clouds coming in. We'll see how much I can get done. I turned off the camera for a bit. Uh, see about not getting it overheated. Grabbed another water, cleaned up a bit. <coughs> I did run the file over the or the brush over the file and it looks much better. I'm just gonna guzzle some water and get back to it. I exhausted the batteries again. Uh, what I'm trying to do, I've got it shaped down to the tang, the metal, all except for a little bit right here. What I'm trying to do now is just make it uniform on both sides. This one needs to come down some more. Uh, and this one I need to do the around the tang a little bit more. Uh, We'll see what we can get done. I've gotten that fairly uniform in shape. Uh, now the next process is I want to just soften these corners uh, just a little bit. Probably just going to hold it to do that so I can get right to the edge of the piece and not have an angle that's not quite comfortable.
a little bow right here but most people are right-handed and that actually kind of works uh, it's definitely I'm not a professional knife or handle maker <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> I'm just doing these to give new life to the metal uh, needs a little more rounding uh, on the corners and on the end here or on the edges and on the end I'm going to actually run it over and uh, put it in mom's hand since it's her tool and see what she thinks about it I want to round where this uh, rough spot was and I was aware of that uh, if you watch the previous videos when I cut these uh, you saw that time to go put it in mom's hand and get an opinion be back with that in a minute well took it in and put it in mom's hand and she said perfect uh, I can feel that I want to do a little more rounding uh, on these edges just to make it a uh, more comfortable so it's not cutting into the hand uh, probably do that with uh, sandpaper maybe the sander I think that's about all I'm gonna do tonight uh, did I do anything wrong on these yeah uh, the tang here doesn't go all the way to where the I cut back for it uh, I think when I did the countersink I went too deep and so the metal didn't fill as well as I would have liked I'm actually thinking on at least this one maybe doing some epoxy haven't even started shaping the knife yet uh, that's where the half round will come in uh, is to get into these curves there uh, but I guess uh, shaping the knife handle will be a project for tomorrow uh, I think mom was a little hasty in her judgment because I can still see where I can do a lot better on uh, making this a more comfortable handle however considering that that well if I can find it that versus this it's definitely given a new life to this old and probably impossible to find a replacement for or a similar replacement for a kitchen tool kitchen utensil if you like give me a thumbs up feel free to share and subscribe I was uh, complaining about uh, how many batteries I was going through and I was actually told use rechargeables and I was like yeah I've got some but well I actually found them just now and I went well I was looking I was going I know I got some double-a batteries well they came with it my I did buy four triple A's I don't know why but I've had this around for a few years it actually took me uh, some searching and some thought to find it I think when the batteries that are in the camera now go I'm gonna try these uh, they're nickel, nickel metal hydroxide batteries uh, not lithium I don't even know if you can get well I'm sure you can get lithium uh, I'll have to look around but if these will work it'll definitely be uh, a savings for me since I already had these from several years ago at least two if not more uh, we'll see how it works these have definitely been around a while uh, 
whatever they used for the image on it literally cracked off and ended up all over me uh, just taking it off they have been in uh, heat cold not a uh, controlled temperature controlled area I'm gonna put them in the AC let them cool off and then plug them in and see how they work